And this is my breakfast, you guys. And the breakfast was really, really good. Daisy Deuce. This is a hurricane. It's a bottomless hurricane. So if I drink this down, she should be bringing me some more. There's a lot of construction going on out here. That's where all the noise. There's a lot going on right now. I like that shirt. Where? Well, I gotta get the baby something, so. Yeah, guys, I gotta get one of these shirts. For the baby. I, I gotta get it for the baby. Hey, baby. All right, you guys. So we have come. Oh, we went to a little voodoo shop. You still? Oh, what? No, I ain't take no damn picture. I did take pictures for but I don't know. Uh. All right, you guys. So this is one of the things that I got. And basically, this is a, what is this? This is a Haiti authentic voodoo doll fetish for protection, good fortune, and success. And you know, we all need that. And then I got me a crystal. I got me a crystal and a whole lot of incense. Um, these are matches, but they are... Inset matches. I've never seen this before. I think this oh, is so I interesting. Get some of them then. Yeah, He's that is so goddamn them. interesting. The hell with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are interesting though. What so I want to like, see how incense? they, you know, light well, what up. What does it do? Like they incense, but you met you like you. I guess you match like a match, and they they guess the scent comes out. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So yeah. So, but does it like um when you light it? Does they have a purpose? Like, does any of them have? Well, like I guess it's different. Yeah, because it's I guess it's whatever different um like flavors. This um no, this one just says incense match. But I guess it's different flavors. Holly it's gotta Berry, be different flavors. Baby. Come on, let's go. Yeah. All right, so we're getting ready to go out again, and we have a native that we're gonna have take us on. <laughs> Just make it the most noise. Oh my god. That's three. No, this is Hold two, up. right? Yeah, here yeah, you are. You're right. Uh-huh, three. And then the other one must be seven. I love this. You gotta be very careful with this door, this door, because it slams very hard. It's very annoying to others, so yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna get in this car right now. Oh, definitely. Yeah, the chicken and the sausage. It would have been they nice if they had the, the chicken. chicken. Yeah, we gotta go check out this house. Um, yeah. The whole tree? The whole tree. See? Wow, this Honoring whole tree. Honoring the people and remembering the events wow. that occurred.
It's almost just like a bad. dinner crab thing. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You know what? I just I was just afraid of the it's look like of it. Okay. It is the look that gets me. That throws me over. Right. It's the look of it. Okay. Yeah, but I, I can't do the breaking and stuff. Like, I can't do that. It would have to be like little pieces oh, wow. soup or something. Like, I probably can do a, a soup or something. Fine. Thank you. And so this whole thing is go to waste. Yeah. yeah, well, they keep, sometimes they keep it and they, and they do crawfish bits so they can stuff it. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So he had said no. I know. I put this. Well, we got You got it. No, let me get a nap. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Did you see it? I know. That's not the kind of head that I like that. That's all. Clea says she don't like the crawfish head. I, so. I like the human, human head. Get at her. <laughs> but you gotta have it gotta be a millionaire head that's all I gotta be a millionaire head can't be no broke head sorry and not in the low not in the beginning six <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Because I'm in the beginning six figures. Lord have mercy. There you go. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I cannot believe this, you guys. I'm eating crawfish. Wow. Nah, take it with you because I ain't going to do this. I'm going to be in the way to your damn crawfish. So definitely, this is going to be my last one. I just wanted to try it, and it's not bad. I thought it was, I thought it was, you know, a thing, but nah, it's not bad. Right? What's a pan of crawfish? Is it? Yeah, I guess. Right. It looks like um, little critters. Yeah, it definitely looks like little critters. I'm not going to do this. They really do. Yeah. I can eat about four pounds. Are you serious? Are you good? You need to be all the breaking it up, yeah. sucking it. Mm -hmm. I got to talk all that. Wow. I haven't had a pineapple so well. Because I was a pig. A CNC pineapple soda. I don't know what they pretend to sit. And a juice, right? Yeah. And then they should cut them open. That would make a difference. Mm hmm. It's still not bad. Mm -hmm. not bad at all. Oh my God, Lord That's help me. That's what you think. I thought they, they was just the regular, regular that we always. Nope. They, they be at the heart of it. Just talking that can just tell. No, it was burnt. Yeah. Just uh, outside shit. Mm. I don't know. That corn. Uh, Hard ass corn. Okay, this is burning. <laughs> <laughs> That's good as hell. Like, seriously. She ain't complaining about her food. All she complaining about is the. Because she's doing them turkey necks. That's all she mm -hmm. eating. Mm -hmm. I had this crap. But the ship was good. The, the egg was good. Complaining is bougie over here. The, 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 the potato was there. No. And then she's just as my fast. daughter. Yeah. She makes me taste the first. I <laughs> <laughs> and I picked the wrong thing. Oh my god. I picked the wrong thing to taste. To taste. Mm -hmm. Let me have a um a garlic. Right. Mm -hmm. 
here is Magazine Street. Right, like, okay. whoever I'm with, he does have to have money. But right. if I'm not interested in you, I don't give a fuck about you or your money. Right, you there you go. Get out of my face. There because you go. The, the drunk, you know, with us, it's kind of hard because when people. Well, I mean, definitely. I mean, but you can you can step back from a situation and still be supportive. Girl, I step all the way back. Right, but that's what I'm saying. But, but you can still be. I stopped calling her. I stopped taking calls. But see, you cannot do that based off of somebody else. You have to do that. But I started seeing her. Right. I'm about to say, there yeah. you go. I started okay. seeing shit. And that okay. was the only reason why I even entertained the conversation. Right. Because nobody, nobody can come and tell me nothing about you. Right. There nobody. you go. Nobody. There you go. I have to see stuff with my own eyes. There you and go. And then that's when I'll start Make up your own here. decisions. There you so, go. She won't be up there, but not me. If I had to do something. Right. So in my mind, my yeah, husband the was always here. Right. My husband was always the breadwinner. Like, if he needed me, I had it to do whatever. Right. But that wasn't my thing. Right. And that's how, I, and my, as a child, that's how I always thought. Mm hmm And I'm thinking, so the lady, the spiritual advisor, uh -huh. she said in my past life, I was a queen. Okay. Shit. Okay. She said, that's your problem, Kalia. Right. And a lot of times, right, really and that that may just be your, you may be absolutely correct. It yeah. only makes sense because of how I don't like people asking me questions. Right. I think everybody should trust me because I'm not gonna lie to you if I say what it is. I don't don't ask me to explain myself. Right. And when you think about it, royalty is like that. Yeah. They say what they say, and that's it. Yeah, because this guy um, once told me he was like in your past, like you was a rebel, and you had twelve. I had twelve kids. See. And the thing that they killed me. Because of how I was, like you know. But I can see that though. Yeah. I can definitely see that. I can yeah. see you as a fucking freedom fighter. Mm hmm There you go. So that could very well be what, yeah, like you're saying. You know, you're fighting to be able to adjust to this life, but this exactly. is not the life that you, you know, you you still have some type of connection to that past life. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And you know what you were supposed to be or what you're supposed to be doing. And so, but the thing with that you have to understand is that you have to, <clears throat> you have to make amends with that. In order to be able to be comfortable with this life, you have to live this life of who, where you mm -hmm. are now. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You can't live for what was. You have to live for what is now. Yeah. You see, and that's the thing. And I think... That's the same thing with me because so many things in like it infuriates me to no avail. And I be thinking to myself, like, Miss Brown, you gotta get this shit out your heart. You destroying yourself. So, and I, when he said that, and this was years ago when I was in like my probably late twenties that he had said this to me. And it made so much sense to me. You know what I'm saying? And then as I got older, I didn't really think about it, think about it. But then from time to time, I do think about it. And I was like, that's why you're fighting against two worlds. You see what I'm saying? Because you have an essence. What is the essence of you? And do you have the you that's in the noun you in a physical form? Mm -hmm. But your spiritual you Been all around. is all the same. Mm -hmm. You see, it's, it's the same it's person. Same, same. Like, right. From it's life a, to life to life. Right. Yeah. right. It's just a situation of that life changes. The times changes. But it's still you. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about it. And that's what a lot of people, like even with... Yeah. And because they can't take, take it. the fact that this is this is too much. The change is too severe for them. That's how people change jobs. When the company starts implementing new goddamn whatever, they have to go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's the same thing in life. That makes sense, though. Oh, yeah. That it's the same thing with life. Sense. And so it's just that you have to learn to adapt and whatever you can change, you change. Mm -hmm. But if you can't, do you have to understand like, all right, this is just a whole different time. And, you know, I just got to live out this life the best way I can without looking back to what. So why do you think I need your help so much to try to put me into 
people will try to put you in a box. Of course. Already letting me know that you think you're better than me. Right. There you go. Yeah. As God is taking care of me. No matter how you look at the situation, God is taking care of me. You don't think he heard my prayers? Right. You don't think he's been answering my prayers? Oh, you don't that's think right. that shit? That's right. That's right. That's Even right. Even if you don't think it, you can see it. And I started taking all types of hits from everywhere. My motherfucking body was like, hoo, 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 Right, hoo, there you go. Hoo, right. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And it has not been one job yeah. for that I haven't been sexually harassed on. I know. Not one. I know. I know. Do you I know. know how frustrating it is, especially for I know. My, my personality and my mouth? Right, exactly. And you think it's okay for you to just keep following me and doing certain stuff? God is taking care of me. No matter how you look at the situation, God is taking care of me. Right. And my outfit should speak for itself. It don't have to have labels written all across. There you, you go. That. <laughs> there you go. Let's it together. There you go. I never was a competing type. Like, I never. Right. I've always been too into what I was doing to they, ever and, worry about what you're doing. There you and, go. Or oh, you can't be jealous of what they've done with their money. So if I do something with my money today, that's going to make me better uh -huh. or a better person in the future for me and my children and my grandchildren or whatever, you can't be mad. Because if you had your money and you got the fucking Louis Vuitton bag, just pass that shit down to your grandkids. That's what your legacy, that's what you left. That's it. All right, so we're gonna be trying some beignets, you guys. Let me get the powder. Oh, shit. You know what? Just leave it up to me. Just leave it up to me. So then why at Popeye's did they add the, 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 I'm trying to think why did they add the chocolate in it? All right, so she was correct. It's pretty much like a, funnel cake. a funnel cake. Yeah, it's a funnel cake. And I made a mess over here. It is soaking freaking wet outside. Oh my God, it's raining and it's storming and it's just being a whole entire mess right now so we're actually in the house now on the first day it was raining you know we was down for the rain we was you know ready to party regardless because we was the first day in new orleans but today yeah i'm not really feeling the rain a whole lot so Therefore, we're in the house. I mean, well, we're in the Airbnb. So, yeah, just chilling right now. And that's it. Just chilling. See my hair? It's a mess. It is soaking wet. I'm glad I did not take the time out to curl it and do things like that. You guys see the hair is kind of messy in the back now because, whew, yeah. So, I got to untangle this stuff. But... I colored the back green and it actually came out really, really nice. God willing, I'll be able to get me some seafood gumbo. So, he did not say that they didn't have any just yet, but I'm not really sure if he's the one who would know that information. So hopefully you guys, I'm gonna get me some seafood gumbo. You guys, I finally got me some gumbo. Yes, it's easy. Cause I'm about a sauce. I wanna go to that. What, what sauce? We need a gumbo sauce. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Another drink. This is so freaking good. So delicious. Crab cake with crawfish, mushrooms. The other one is gone, but it was delicious.
know what's going on down there. Somebody probably fell out drunk, most likely. So, but tonight is our last night, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I am so freaking exhausted. But I'm trying to buy some things for some folks. But it's so hard to like buy, like, um, what do they call them? You know, gifts because everything is like basically the same. Like people always bring you like bottle openers or magnets or something like that. And that's not really, uh, it's kind of funny. So I'm just probably gonna buy for two people and everyone else gotta know that I love you. But I didn't get you anything because you're not gonna use it. right here going down to our room I don't know why but it just looks so creepy it looked like something off of a movie set this will be the perfect street for a Halloween like part in a movie it's so spooky. <laughs> and then it has the loop. You guys can't see it. Well, it was smoky down there, but it's not smoky down there anymore. I don't know what happened. The smoke went away. The focus. Oh, now the door's not slamming. You guys, this is how I'm looking right now because it is really, really cool outside. So, don't judge. Don't judge. For whatever reason, they have spikes up on top of the dresser. I don't know why. This is... Of course, the outside. And up the stairs we go. We're almost there. That money, I get it, I get it. Got a house full of cars on the road. I'm living, ain't nothing, I'm renting. What I do, how I spend it, why you hate the state, and it ain't nothing, no business. From start to finish, then back to Keep on winning, I'ma keep drip, drip, I'ma drip, drip, drip. That money, I get it, I get it. Got a house full of cars in the garage, I'm living, ain't nothing, I'm renting. It has a much better light here. I'm loving this light. It looks so much better. My lips don't look as ashy as they were just looking a few seconds ago. So, yeah. So, and there's Leah right there in line. I mean, she's right there. See her right there. There she is. Yeah, so our little trip is over, you guys. Over. And the little street that we're on is Canal Street. We are on the move, you guys. Let me show you all our bags. And then I have two bags, more bags. I'm hoping that these people do not give me a problem with these bags because I have to check one of the bags 
because we're actually going with United. And so hopefully they let me bring these two bags on at least. So we'll see what happens. My hair is looking horrible, horrible, horrible. So I can't wait to get home so that way I can relax my feet because my feet are in so much agony in such agony overall I had a really good time I'm so glad that I came to New Orleans and I got to experience and see things that truthfully I don't really think that you would experience or see anywhere else in the world because New Orleans, New Orleans. Woo. Yeah. But right now we're waiting on our Uber. Kalia just went inside the museum down there. So I'm just out here watching the bags. We're waiting for the Uber driver. So it's hot inside there. Yeah. Yeah, because it's small. It's nice. Oh, okay, yeah. So tell me why there's a skeleton and a lady in the window. Yeah. Tell me why. Why? Why is this? Why is that? All right, you guys. So we are at the airport now, and I'm getting me something from Starbucks. Kalia is sitting over there. And hopefully we'll be boarding like really, really soon. So, yeah. So I'll see you guys. Um, no, no whipped cream. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be seeing, well, I'll be seeing you all back in New York very, very soon. So, yeah. Just a Business, from start to finish, then back to beginning, I'ma keep on winning, I'ma keep on winning, I'ma keep drip drippin'.